guess what I'm going to make? <laughs> I had entirely too much fun pulling these pieces. Like, I'm just... <laughs> this was taking me right back to single digits. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to build now. I'll talk to you in a sec. I don't know if this is going to be a set review. Hi. <laughs> I had entirely way too much fun. Uh, today, tonight was a down night uh, with the various things going on uh, with family and whatever. I mean, things are fine. Things are status quo everywhere else. But I decided to try to, uh, not even try. I just, <laughs> that's not even a try. It was a, I'm going to build this. Uh, I decided to build this one first just to get back in the swing of building old school sets, my old school sets, my single digits of my life sets. Uh, yeah, the tipper truck. Uh, I've been meaning to build this thing since I saw that uh, one guy who built, I don't know, hundreds of these guys and built a 12 times bigger one. Um, so I decided to build a tipper truck first. And let's leave that over there just so you can see it off the edge. And then I went right into building set 357, the fire station with vehicles. I got this set for Christmas. I remember vividly getting the set for Christmas. And it was lost in the big melt, but we won't talk about that right now. <laughs> but it was lost in the big melt. Uh, I loved, loved, loved this set when I was a kid. It was fantastic. And it, I don't know if I got it in 1973. I would have only been only six years old. I could have, back then, Lego sets stayed on the shelf for years. So I could have got this when I was six, seven, or eight. Uh, before the big melt. Uh, the big melt happened before I was 10 or around 10. So I lost. This is the base plate that was on top of the canning pot. <laughs> when I first noticed that I was losing all my Lego. But we won't even talk about that. So... Set 357 came out in 1973. I got it within a year or two uh, after that. And uh, and it was just a joy to build tonight. It was a joy to pull the parts. It was a joy to think about it. It was a joy to just build it and look at it again. Now, I did get this set. I mean, I got it in a whole bunch of lots, but I got it at one of the brick fats. Uh, my friend quote unquote, sold it to me for the cost of a one by one blue plate. Um, that was his thing. It's, he, he, he did stuff like that and I'm not going to fault him. <laughs> but he, he basically didn't want to give things away for free. He wanted you to jump through a few hoops, whatever. I can find a blue one by two out of my space layout or one by one plate, <laughs> my space layout and gave it to him. And he gave me the set with the box. Now, I don't believe I have the box anymore. Uh, I think I gave the box to Jeff uh, for his for either Bricklink store to whatever. Uh, but I believe I do not know. I do not see it. So I can almost honestly say I do not have the box for this set anymore. Uh, really, really quick review of the actual set. It's basic pieces. Uh, very, very little modified bricks. Zero modified plates. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, very, very basic in color schemes. Uh, but for 1973, this was utterly fantastic. This this was a corner piece of any town layout that we were building. This was on the train layout for the longest time, blah, 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 yada, yada. And of course, the three vehicles that came in the set. Uh, lots of printed pieces. Like there's, there's five lego logos there's three lego land logos there's a whole bunch of uh headlight bricks so you can see that it's got the lego land up there lots and lots of printed bricks in this guy and you can see my candle flags really beat up again my original got lost in the big melt this i got off a used lot i don't know when how long ago i i i, I may have somewhere a better canadian flag than that but i have two more that I found really easily, the US and the UK, but neither one applied to me, <laughs> so, so I don't care. Um, I did try to be era specific 
on parts such as the two by two tiles. There are two by two tiles without groove and the one by two tile without groove. I, I purposely did that, but I did not purposely try to find the four by 12s from my era back then. These are four by 12s with the injection mold on the top. A lot of them, I think most of them, I think this one's original. Uh, to the era, I think if I find the injection molds on this, yeah, the injection molds are on the side. I just grabbed good looking 4x12s, I grabbed good looking uh, 1x2s, I grabbed good looking uh, non yellowed, mostly non yellowed bricks, yellow bricks. Um, and even the vehicles, I try to again try to make it look pretty instead of era specific because it would take me a long time to find era specific 4x8 uh, plates that are good looking without it being faded or whatever, scratched up. But of course the tires, the, the, these are original tires because you're not gonna get these after this era. The dualies and the single in the front, uh, the the hinge, uh, the ball and socket, original. Um, but other than that, the one by ones on top, they are all new-ish, yeah, they're all new. Uh, none of those, they have the uh, injection molding in the pip. I don't care on this one. I, I have, I'll get in that in a second. The uh, one by one rounds, uh, solid stud, because again, I could. <laughs> so uh, this, again, this is what I remember is the, the ladder truck and uh, how fantastic it was in the extending the ladder. Um, I broke more of these ladders in my life than I care to admit, uh, <laughs> because they were fragile and they'd be in a box. <coughs> when we were cleaning up the basement and you know, we're going to have company. So we dump everything to the box. And I, I think I broke three or four of these letters because I got them in various sets. Uh, I, I did find overall it's hit and miss when you get one of these letters in a lot that it comes with both parts. And it's very rare. I only think I have one. I know I have one, maybe two of the third letter that goes on the outside. Um, and um, I think, that, yeah. There is one that does that. Uh, but um, most of the time you'll only find either the, the, the medium ladder or the small ladder. And usually you'll find them broken uh, from, from the air. But I do have uh, possibly a dozen of these ladders that are not broken from various lots. Again, mine would have been destroyed in the big melt. Uh, but I had some sets after that that had ladders in it. The vehicles look cool. They're all uniquely different, except for the trailer. The trailer's identical on all of them. I don't know what the trailer stands for. I, I've hung around fire trucks my entire life. I don't remember seeing trailers like that on fire trucks, but um, but I don't care. It works. It honestly works for me. So um, uh, the 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 ladder truck looks really really cool for the pieces that you get, like just uh, one by two slopes, and then you, you can just visualize that there's an interior here with four sets of seats and stuff like that, like newer newer fire trucks when you watch all the Chicago fires and stuff, uh, Station Twenty Nine or whatever it's called, Nineteen. Um, th this guy looks a little dated, looks like little Jeepish, uh, like like a Jeep or something, a four by four, but still, or or what I also thought back, and again I used error specific two by fours. <laughs> see the injection mold inside and of course the printed parts are all era specific so they're gonna have the injection mold on the side um I, I i visualized emergency now emergency was such a huge tv show back when i was a kid like i think it came out 1972 ish don't quote me on the year uh gage and DeSoto and dixie and uh and uh the doctor oh for crying out loud uh not mcgarrett um bracket dr bracket <laughs> uh uh, we, my brother and I watched that show all the time. And of course, half my family are firefighters. So that also goes with it. Uh, so this was especially poignant to me uh, growing up because we would watch Emergency and play with the set, <laughs> which was great. Uh, and and again, half my, my brother became a firefighter uh, halfway through high school and did local fire department uh, volunteer. And my cousins were all full time after a while. And my uncles were all the chief the captains of the various fire stations. Um, so firefighting runs in the family. I'm the only guy who didn't join the fire department because I'm a klutz. I am a klutz. So <laughs> we won't go into that. Uh, the station itself, pretty, I, I, I don't want to use the word rudimentary. I really don't because it looks right. It looks right for the era. It looks right, but you can see it's completely hollow inside. Uh, there ain't there ain't much. There's a one by two pillars here, and then there's the one two by eight arches, uh, and then the four by twelve on top, uh, windows on the side. 
uh, on this side, there's a door uh, and, a, and a sidewalk in the door and windows going up. So it gives you the idea that, you know, uh, there's some substance to this. Uh, I had forgotten that they cheated. <laughs> Cause I, was, I haven't built this set since I was single digits, uh, that they used, uh, two by twos here to fill in this area here. So you got the window in two by twos. So inside is not perfectly hollow, it's perfectly square. You got the jettles from the two by twos. Of course they didn't have the one, by, or what we call a two by two L. Uh, I call it the one by two L. <laughs> that's how I do things. Um, <coughs> also in this set, uh, they didn't have one by four plates. Uh, they use what, two one by twos anytime they needed a one by four plate. Also, they did not have one by three bricks back then. Now, again, they may have had one by three bricks in other sets, but and this is, again, this is how fickle memory is. The very first time I remember, because my mind was blown, I said, oh, they make bricks there. This is a new, this is a new uh, mold, uh, was when I got the 854 go-kart because two one by three black bricks came in that set and I, and I was I mean uh, amongst all the other fantastically new uh pieces like the Technic beams and plates and all that stuff and the axles and the gears and all that stuff the one by three black brick was the very first time I ever got a one by three brick ever and that was in the 854 which is a bunch of years after this guy so I I'm not sure exactly when when the one by three started appearing in sets um but it wasn't in this set in 1973. <laughs> and the one by four plate, uh, I'm sure existed back in 1973, but they didn't use it on this set. They, 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 right here, there are, there's, there should be a one by four plate here, but they use two one by twos and two one by twos there and two one by twos there and two one by twos there. And I'm going, well, that's odd. Uh, like I could have sworn one by four plates existed back then. <laughs> so... It is what it is. Uh, I'm not going to, you know, whatever. It's, it's one of those little oddities in the uh, history of um, Lego building, uh, designing the sets. Uh, the vehicles without the trailer, they all fit into the, the, the hangers here, the, the, the bays. But with, with, the, uh, with the trailer, the trailers all stick out the back end. I didn't care when I was a kid. I honestly did not care at all when I was a kid about that. It didn't matter to me at all. But I think that looks fantastic. It looks like a really cool set. For, again, they, they came out with better fire stations after this with the minifigs. Really, with the roll-up doors and everything. Like, there are better fire station sets out there. But for 1973, being a six-year-old or seven-year-old, whenever I got this, six, seven, or eight, this was a fantastic set. Pre-minifig. Beautiful set. Really loved it. Um, and now, time for... A little flex there are people out there that have more than i do but while i was pulling pieces for these guys i <sighs> and and this one this, this this piece is really really beat up but this is the original logo uh when i was oh yeah so i was going to mention that so there are five of these logo bricks in this set According to the instructions, it was the old logo. Now, this can be interpreted as the old logo because there's a space between the L and the E uh, that uh, did not, that disappeared in the, I don't know if it's the late 70s or early 80s when they changed the logo again. Maybe it was 84. I can't remember specifically when. But they just moved the, they got rid of the little gap between the L and E. And I can't remember if the O on the original sets. Let me just find the box that I always show. I probably buried it somewhere. No. Oh, no, it's right there. But yeah, even the O in the uh, 1970s had the yellow inside. So the O on the regular logo would have in the 70s, there was a little bit of yellow. There was black and yellow. Um, they they made those disappear in the later sets. Uh, but the original sets from the 60s, that was the logo, the, the descriptive logo. Uh, and I think that lasted to a little bit in 1972. Uh, in 1973, they changed... To this one this is the only logo i remember when i was a kid until they changed it to getting rid of the space between the l and the e and filling in the o uh so but i thought the instructions were calling for this logo and i said i don't have enough logo pieces of the original 60s logo for this set i don't i mean i could have used th these guys the the unfilled in but i think they were looking for these guys but i don't remember i remember getting these now again my my memory's faulty and of course the set got destroyed <laughs> during the big melt so i can't go back to my original original set to find out if it was this logo or 
or this logo. Uh, but I just, I don't remember. This is the only logo I remember having when I was a kid. Uh, beyond that, look at all that chrome. <laughs> and this is an old one. <laughs> This is this is what we call just years of collecting, and this is just the red, and this is not all my one by four headlight bricks for red. Um, these are ones I and I have one stickered one at the top, and I think that came out of one of those uh, idea books. Uh, I don't know, it was I didn't do that, but that's I got that in a lot. Um, I just love I I I adore this headlight brick. I, again, it, it brings me back to my memories of me being a kid because every set that I got when I was a kid I had vehicles like this or I had vehicles like this or the police car and it had that 1x4 headlight brick. And besides white, they were all chrome. It was fantastic. White just had black. But for, for all the other colors, uh, yellow and red and blue and black, there was chrome. And I always liked that. And so, but beyond that, as I say... This headlight brick here reminded me of Emergency because they had a 1972 or 1971 uh, modified pickup truck that, as the as a paramedics vehicle, and it had that really nice, easy to look at early 70s, late 60s grill on a pickup truck. And I just like I I I, I and then again this is me being me. I think all new pickup trucks suck. They look like crap. They look like they came from a factory from the, the, the what the 1960s futuristic idea of what a pickup truck looks like <laughs> whereas the 60s pickup trucks themselves were very very basic square boxy and had a really interesting solid easy uh to understand grill that looks just like this <laughs> so i had a, i had a um i had a 88 dodge dakota that was pretty basic like it wasn't fancy and it sort of had a grill like that, but I, I like the seventies pickup trucks the best. Uh, just like if you want to uh, watch Star Trek four and what uh, Jillian was driving around in, uh, just a nice old basic pickup truck is what I love. That's my favorite kind of pickup truck. Uncle Jesse's pickup truck from the Dukes of Hazard, a nice standard, nothing fancy pickup truck. Uh, and that's what this, this grill plate reminds me of. Um, Grill, grill brick. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo, put those away. I also, just to finish showing off, there's there's going to be people out there that have a lot, a lot, a lot more of these Lego land bricks than I do. Uh, straight up, and I fully understand that. But I have enough. <laughs> <laughs> I have enough. I have, again, if people have more than I do, I'm extremely happy for them. <laughs> because the, I think it's fun to collect this kind of stuff. Um, and so... I, and this is just my red. I, if I pull out my white, and my, my, my white's pretty extensive as well when it comes to headlight bricks and Lego land bricks. Uh, black is a little diminished. Yellow's a lot smaller than this. But um, <clears throat> because I was doing this and I was pulling the parts anyway, I pulled all this out. Um, and also what I was looking for, uh, I was looking for the tiles. So I have three more, and I'm sure I have lots more. Uh, one by two gray tiles without the groove on the bottom. You can see there's no groove at all on these guys. Um, I, I'm keeping all my original old bricks separate from the new bricks when I find them. Um, oh, and that reminds me of the last thing I'm going to talk about. When I pulled the the bricks for this thing, I tried to make the I tried to pull white bricks that were not yellowed at all. I, I failed a little bit. You can see some yellowing. But uh, when I was playing the one by two bricks, I pulled out these two. And put them in the pile. I didn't realize that these these are. Let me see if I can hit that. I don't know if you can see. Oh man, this thing is not focusing on me at all. <laughs> um, they are the original logo from the '60s, and so this is CA. Uh, uh, these are CA bricks, and um, and they have the really old logo on them. And I thought, and they're 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 white white. And that was really cool to see. And they're not scratched. So I, these were not mine. Uh, I got these in a lot. I don't know when. <laughs> but I got these in a lot at some point. I got There was a couple lots back, I don't know, a dozen or so, probably even more years ago, where they had a lot of uh, mid-60s waffle plates, uh, bricks with these logos on them. Uh, one by sixes that had multi uh, different logos, upside down logos, twisted logos on the one by six bricks. 
Uh, it's a known issue that happened with Samsonite. <laughs> <laughs> that they didn't seem to have put the effort into making it perfect like they would have done in Denmark uh, when they were redoing their molds. Uh, and so I have a bunch of one by six bricks that have every single stud has a different uh, type, uh, new logo, old logo, deep uh, print, slight print, uh, slightly twisted 45 degrees to the rest of the logos upside down. Uh, they're really kind of neat. If you find them, it's really kind of cool. <clears throat> There's one or two I actually have where the stud is actually a half a stud higher than a regular stud. And it's not happening here, but I have a few bricks where the stud is proud, as they say, it's higher than regular studs. Uh, and you can see the, and you can see the mold line, like they, they made it deeper for some reason. I, I don't know why. <laughs> so It's just one of those things. Um, so to wrap this up, cause I don't want this to go too long. Uh, to wrap this up, I am going to sporadically build a set from my youth and or a set that would have been available in my youth, uh, such as this one, <laughs> so, uh, and, and, and do a review on it, a quick review and, and a build and all that stuff, because I think it's fun. <laughs> I really do. I, I, I really do believe uh, this has taken me right back to my childhood. And I'm not going to focus on a specific year. Uh, but I do remember getting this set and I do remember getting this set. And I know I did not get that set, but I always wanted to build that since I saw that guy who built a bunch of them. Um, and so there are a few other sets that I can pull down and they say, I, I got this set for, for Christmas or my birthday. Uh, so I'm going to start being all nostalgic, like, and start building, um, these sets of my youth, as they say, the two youths, uh, my youth. These, these are all sets besides this one. Oops, this is me hitting everything, making a mess of things. These are sets I had when I was a kid. <laughs> this is not a set I had when I was a kid. Uh, I didn't get this set when I was a kid either, uh, but I built it. Um, this is a set I had when I was a kid. Uh, so I'm gonna start doing that, more, more focusing on sets that I had when I was a kid. Uh, prior, and I'm gonna say prior to 1977, because I think 1977 for me, Overall is, I mean, Lego changed abruptly uh, when they got rid of waffle plates and went to uh, regular, what we call regular plates now. Uh, I'm told, Gary says that was a, that was a bit of a phase in, but they did change that in the late 60s, early 70s. They went from waffle plates to regular plates and they started making a whole bunch of different size plates. So that was a radical change for them and, and different bricks and more windows and blah, blah, blah. Uh, and these chain links and all that stuff, like that, that was a bit of a change for them. But I think for me, 1977, I mean, they were, they were working on the minifig because I think they started working on the minifig in 1975 and they had the, no arms, no legs moving, but they were actually working on the moving arms and legs earlier, a couple years earlier. I, I think if you look in that history of that guy who invented it, um, they started working a couple years before, but 1977, when the Technic line was released, if you look at the brochures before 1977 and you look at the brochures after 1977, there was a huge change on how uh, how intricate and detailed Lego sets were. Throughout this, before 1977, all the Lego sets looked like this. <laughs> they really did. Um, and then after 1977, they, they started diminishing the number of basic bricks that were in a set and a lot more plates, a lot more detail, a lot more curves, a lot more um, uh, nifty things to look at. Uh, and then of course, 1978 showed up and that all bets were off. <laughs> the minifigs with the town, castle and uh, space. Um, so, but I'm gonna focus pre-1977 uh, when I start building these sets. And I, I'm gonna build them until I feel like soften. And, and what it's, what's gonna happen, <clears throat> is I, I may, I may uh, see if there's an interest in displaying these at a show. Um, I'm gonna put them on, I'm gonna keep them all together because I don't need them in my layout. I don't need them in my, my uh, collection. <laughs> like none of these pieces matter to anything I build for my display, like space display, <clears throat> but they're nice to have. Oh, I forgot one more thing. So um, over my years of acquisitions, mm. let me just push these things out of the way. Here's my stack of these plates, uh, base plates that came in a lot of these sets back then. And what I did is I sorted them out by type. So uh, fire station, 
fire station, fire station, fire station, not fire station. So I could build four more of these fire stations because it was, it was a, I, we owned one. And of course we wrecked it. We owned one and I got one from my buddy at the uh, brick fat. But I also know that before when I was collecting used lots back in the eighties and nineties, I got most of these base plates, right? Uh, there's the, 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 the uh, hospitals in here, the quarries in here, uh, blank ones are in here. Um, just nothing with no, no, no uh, driveways at all are in here. And then you get into the red ones. I got a couple of red ones in here. Um, and then uh, blank red ones. And then the the ones that, <clears throat> I don't know if Bacta used this one for their, their drawing, the XY uh, robot, robotic arm. And then this one was for the, uh, the uh, marine base and uh, with, the, with the mini figs that didn't have moving arms and legs. And then a couple of these smaller ones, blah, blah, blah. So I have a whole bunch of these. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. <laughs> They they just sit here because again they're not thirty but they're not thirty two by thirty two, <laughs> so they don't work with that layout uh, that the, the 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 road layouts that came out just a few years after. But again, we're not using those anymore anyway. We're doing mill standard and blah blah blah. So there's the there's an evolution of everything. Uh, I'm just gonna get rid of these. I'm just gonna hide these. Um, and just display my sets. <laughs> so. This is this is honestly my childhood just right here. <laughs> so, these are the these are the sets. These are the, the I, I'm gonna build a lot more as I remember. These are the sets that really defined. I won't say defined. These are the sets that I had so much. These are the sets that oh, let's put it this way. These were the sets that were together the longest. When you get a set for Christmas, you build the set out of the box. You read the instructions. You build the set, and then within a day or two, it's rolled into the collection. Right, and then you build all the other other stuff, right? Whatever you want to build. And my sister, my brother, and I built tons of stuff back in the day. Uh, but these sets, these specific sets here, are the sets that made it past the two or three day mark staying together. <laughs> this one, possibly the longest. <laughs> so that's, I, I think this one stayed together. Um, I can't. No, I got this one post big melt. Uh, so it, I had this one the longest because the rest of the, the, and these guys, uh, all these guys got lost in the big melt. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, <clears throat> I just, these are the sets that I remember vividly playing with when I was a kid, uh, and leaving the other for the longest time. Uh, I'm going through the other, uh, catalogs on, uh, Puron and, and, and Lugnet. And, um, I'm, uh, oh, I remember that set and, uh, oh, I wanted that set or I, uh, you know, whatever. So I'm going to be doing more of this. <clears throat> so stay tuned for that. I don't know if I'm going to do it as extensive because we're already 30 minutes into this, but, um, this was fun for me. I really, really, really enjoyed this. And I really enjoyed pulling all the other sets that I still have together down here. Um, and so that's it. I hope everybody's doing well out there. Uh, I made an hour and a half video yesterday and I started breaking it up and I thought, do I actually want to upload it? And I said, eh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it might be private for a while. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But this one's going to be uploaded. So I uh, hope you guys watch it. I hope you guys uh, enjoy it as much as I did. Um, and I will um, keep on keeping on. So you guys do the same. Uh, I appreciate you. And um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.